Hi all, my name is Hera Shaheen. Today I am going to discuss about projection of fuzzy relation and cylindrical extension in fuzzy relation. Okay, so what is projection of fuzzy relation and how we calculate it? So here the definition is given and how the process is also written. But I want to explain it first by example, then I will go on this. Okay, so take this fuzzy relation. Here fuzzy relation is given and we are asked to find projection of relation R of XY on X. Then what we have to do? We have to find the projection of each X values and find the maximum of it. So suppose this X1 for this complete row, which one is maximum? That value will be will take for X1. That is projection of R of XY on X. Here we are, we are seeing it is values are given 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5. Maximum is 0 0.5. So X1, 0 0.5. For X2, it is 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.1, 0 0.3 and 0 0.8. So maximum is 0 0.8. So here it is 0 0.8. Okay. Write it down clearly. It is 0 0.8. Okay, now for x3, it is 0 0.5, 1, 0 0.7, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So maximum of them are, maximum of them is 1. So for x3, it is 1. So this is the projection of R of xy on x. Now, for projection of R of xy on y is, for this, we'll see in the, for, for each y attributes or for, or for each y variables, y1 we will see what is the maximum in that column so for y1 it is 0 0.5 y2 it is 1 for y3 it is 0 0.7 for y4 it is 0 0.4 and for y5 it is 0 0.8 so this is the example of how to find projection of fuzzy relation for this definition is given here that r relation uh, fuzzy relation x y comma mu of r of x y x y belongs to x cross y be a fuzzy relation the projection of r of x y on x is given by r1 when it is asked that we have to find the projection of relation x y on x then it is denoted by r1 here we will see only the only for x values x1 x2 x3 and then from it we will see in the complete row which is maximum it is maximum from the all y values from mu r x y where x y belongs to x cross y and the projection of r of x y on y is given by r2 where we will see for the y attributes means we will see in the complete column which is maximum of x, maximum of x, here maximum of y, here maximum of x, mu r of x, y, where x, y belongs to x cross y. So this is the projection method. Now we will see cylindrical extension. So now cylindrical extension from x projection means filling all the columns of the related matrix by x projection. Means we have to fill all the columns of the related matrix all the columns of the related matrix by x projection we we had got we have got earlier x projection since in the x we have three elements x1 x2 x3 so that is that what did what did the what does it mean we have three rows and in all the three rows we have to fill the fill the complete row with the same values in, in all columns of that particular row suppose in x1 we, we have to put all the x projection values here in all column for x2 all the values will be same so for this why and in the similarly we have to uh, we have to find similar uh, cylindrical extension from y projection means filling all the rows of the related matrix by the y projection for example suppose we have to find the cylindrical extension from y projection what we have to do? We have to fill all the rows 
of the related mat uh, relational matrix by the y projection so what, what is the y, y, y projection of y1 we have calculated earlier that is uh, 0 0.5 so it will be 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 what is the y2 y for y2 we had uh, calculated 1 so for this we have all have 1 for y3 it will be 0 0.7 in all the rows for y4 what it is 0 0.4 0 0.4 0 0.4 and for y5 it is 0 0.8 so all will all the rows will have the same value that is written here it is written as cylindrical extension from y projection this is for y projection suppose we want to find this one for x projection then that will be r1 x1 x2 x3 y1 y2 y3 y4 and y5 here we had found that for x1 it is 0 0.5 so in all the columns will have 0 0.5 corresponding to x1 and uh, for this x2 in all the columns we will put 0 0.8 the projection of x2 is 0 0.8 in all the columns and for x3 it was 1 so we will fill 1 in all the columns that is how we find the projection of cyl uh, sorry cylindrical extension from x projection this is cylindrical extension from x projection and this is cylindrical extra extension from y projection okay so thank you